is here. Yeah. And the brachiocephalic artery mm -hmm. branches off, mm -hmm. bifurcates into the right comic carotid, right subclavian. The right comic carotid is going to bifurcate at the level of the larynx into the external carotid, branches into subtributaries that go to the outside of the skull. The internal carotid is shown like a dark, sort of a dark shadow here. Uh, they're trying to show, show it to you through the internal jugular vein. But that's going to go through the carotid canal, it's going to enter the cranial cavity and contribute to the cervical wall. Uh, the right subclavian artery is here. Uh, after it pops out into the axilla, its name is changed to axillary artery. Uh, before it does pop out into the axilla, these are the tributaries that you want to know. Uh, we have a vertebral artery that goes up through the costal transverse foramina, goes through the foramen magnum, converges, converges, converges with the other vertebral to make the basal artery. We have a thyrocervical artery here, kind of makes a T. Uh, we have an internal thoracic artery that travels posterior to the clavicle, runs down lateral to the sternum giving off the anterior intercostals that go to the anterior intercostal spaces. Uh, logic says if we have anterior intercostals, we have to have posterior intercostals also. They come off the aorta, and even though they're not keyed on this chart, if we look through the rib cage, we can see the posterior aspects of the ribs. Those have to be posterior intercostals traveling in between the posterior parts of those ribs. They come off the aorta directly. Uh, okay, coming back to the subclavian. Once it emerges into the axilla, mm -hmm. it's axillary. Uh, the axilla is going to come out and it's going to essentially bifurcate into a brachial that comes down along the humerus and a subscapular that goes to the anterior part of the scapula. Uh, this hand's pronated, so it's not an anatomical position. So if we flip over to the other side for simplicity, brachial comes down, bifurcates into the radial that goes to the thumb. Ulnar that goes to the pinky that's finger, and, and then we have anastomosing connections. There's actually two pulmonary arches. Okay.